Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Modicon M2, 2, 1. In this video, what we're going to talk about is the Ethernet IP that we have in the Ethernet port of the Modicon M2, 2, 1, and how we can communicate the controller to another device. So let's go to the presentation. So the idea in this video is to communicate the M2, 2, 1 with another controller. Okay, in my case, I'm going to use uh, M262. So the M21 can only be uh, an adapter here. So uh, the M262 is going to read and write information to the M221. Okay, so that is the main idea here. Um, here you can see some of the configuration that I have. So let's continue with this. Du -du 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 so once we are in the configuration of the controller in the ethernet port okay uh, we just need to define and this is important and here this one ethernet protocol enabled this must be enabled otherwise we cannot communicate with the other device that we want to so once we use this ethernet ap adapter configuration for the um Internet port at the end of the one, we are able to share information to other devices. Okay, it's not like can I can scan other devices, it doesn't work in this way for the answer to one. So, if we continue with this, once we have defined it or configured the IP address of the equipment and enable the internet port, what we need to do is to enable here the adapter. Okay. And here we should be able to see the parameters that are for use for read and write from the controller and to the controller to the M221. Then, in order then to easily share this information that we have configured in the uh, Machine Expert Basic, the software predefined a EDS file, electronic data sheet, that allowed us to easily import the variables, okay, import. The variables in the other software. In my case, it's going to be the EcoStruction Machine Expert along with the M262 controller. Okay, so in order to get this EDS, let me just hide me. EDS here, this EDS, this EDS is in this path in your laptop. Okay, so once you install the EcoStruction Machine Expert Basic, in firmware and post configuration and to the one you should be able to find this EDS. So let me just put this over here. Just wait with me a second. So if we are here in the in C, okay, program files, machine electric, machine expert basic. Being worse, the bus configuration L221. Here you have the EDS, which is the file that we require for the um, for the other software that you're going to use to easily share these variables. Okay, that we have over here. So we continue with this. Okay, once you define these parameters, okay, input and output. On the on the program, let me just double check here. In the programming area, okay, tools, we have some IO options already configured. So let's try to follow this. I'm going to specify the IP address. So one I'm going to enable the Ethernet IP protocol and all this. Ethernet adapter, okay. I'm not going to change this because it's going to be much easier. So, okay, programming. And here, da, 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 network options. Here you find the Ethernet IP input and output. Okay, and you can find here that you can define some names. So, for example, um, you, what name I can use? QWE uh, or zero. Okay. Just something else in here. And the same for the input. I one. I two. 
okay so this is how you can find information so if we go back here to the presentation okay here you can see how it's going to be defined the output okay that can from the originator to the target okay and from the target to the originator okay so now what we're going to do is to find the eds as i already showed you and install the eds on the other software and then communicate both the devices so i can show you which is the input and output and which is the information i write from which side so if we go back to here okay uh, let's try to add something here and download this to the target let's see so what i'm going to do now is to connect with the controller with the m221 login and download everything you see controller yes one other thing that you need to check if you have communication with the controller so you can ping them okay i have communication and the other controller is the 62 and i have the communication so for this part it's already finished okay what we can do now is to create animation table um iwe zero one q w e uh, two okay so now we should be able to see um the information that we got from each side so in my case i'm going to use the machine expert okay along with this m262 what i need to do is to install here the eds so device repository in this side okay and then i need to install once i have this i just need to go to c program files machine expert doo -doo -doo, no machine electric machine expert basic post configuration m to one eds so open then this device is installed close now here in the ethernet port in this case i have the e iap scanner so i'm going to add the m to one they already defined so others m to one okay here you can you will need to modify this to the ip address of the equipment it's going to be the m one connections this is already configured okay uh should be already configured connection this one okay read and write data i'm going to delete this one because i want to read and write at the same time everything okay once you have this you should be able to see all the options over here okay so uh what we can do now is to connect with the m262 and see the data that we have so i'm going to connect with the m262 now now this one connect da, da, da. i believe it's this one your training Yep. Just bear with me. Just to finish. <laughs> okay, uh, start. So if we go to the device tree, we should be able to see that we have the connection. So here we should be able to start seeing some variables. Okay. Now, this input is the information that came from the um, from the M to one. Okay. So if it came from the M to one, if we open the M to one here, this is the queue. So 
let me just go back to the presentation so I can explain. So I have area from Q and I, and I have an area for Q and I from this device. So the Q output is going to be the input and the input we came from this part. Okay, so it's going to be remain mix uh swap the information here so the final room this is how it should be so if we go back here and i write something over here in these two should be able to get information from this side if i know wrong so let's try to add uh one two three four five six and there we go you have it over there and you can see there is the i and the other side is the Q. So even if I try to change this, I cannot because information came from the other side. So I can specify here uh, 741 and uh, A52. I wanted to write these values and you should be able to see them on the M221. Okay, simple as that. Now, one of the question you may have is, okay, I got, in this case, uh, 20 words to share. But what happens if I want more? Okay, it's a valid question. So if you want more, inside the uh, this folder, you have this instruction in order to make the modifications of the EDS file so you can add more words, okay? You have all the information here okay so the blue ones are the ones that you can change okay uh, for you need to change here okay which is the size of the information that you want okay for read and write okay so this information that you need to change is a spain over here i'm not going to uh all the details okay but everything is in here how you can do it at least inside where do you uh, install the software? Okay, so as I show you, I was able to communicate using Ethernet IP um, on the adapter, as adapter on the M21 to another device that in my case was the M262. Okay, so this is how we can make the communication over Ethernet IP between the M221 as adapter to any other device using the EDS file. So thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one. Thank you.